Scottish deer stalker Jimmy Gibb has one happy client in the bag. Now he has to get another. A team from gunmaker Browning is stalking in the Highlands and Jenny Machetti has just shot this nice hill stag on the Balmacan estate in Invernessshire. Jenny's colleagues Martin Bouquet and Lionel Nerville are out next. We leave the comfortable lodge in two Argo cats. Jimmy takes Martin in his and Jimmy divides up the stalking when we get to the top of the hill. We'll use this road yeah. and out the middle of there mm -hmm. we'll have this side and the others will have this side. Okay. Uh, and, and that way we don't interfere yeah. with each other. Yeah. Balmacarn offers 20,000 acres of hill stalking to the west of Loch Ness. You may have heard the word Balmacarn if you're in the rag trade. Once the seat of the Grant family, the estate gives its name to a woollen coat. Jimmy is suffering from stalker's fear. Stalker's fear is a terrible affliction that has about half of the UK's professional stalkers saying how unlikely it is that the client will even see a deer, let alone shoot one. The other half of the UK stalkers suffer from stalker's hope, which has them telling clients that they could walk for miles on the backs of deer, there are so many of them. The result is usually halfway between the two, but today Jimmy is right to be fearful. We spot a group of deer about two miles away. Something makes them move off. Jimmy glasses the hill and soon spots the problem. Pony trekkers. Right to roam in Scotland means ramblers clear large areas of the hill of deer and stalkers have to cope with that. But pony trekkers, that's taking the mickey. Back at the Argo Cat, Jimmy gives his view. We came round to stalk onto this face. Uh, the deer had already moved from where they were when we saw them originally. Um, we couldn't work out why, after sitting here spying the deer, that they were sort of quite nervous and not settled at all. Out on the left hand side here there was four or five, five horses I think, walked up the ridge onto the top of the skyline, the deer saw them and, and took off and, and that cleared the whole of this, this area in front of us. Best not to show Jimmy's face, his countenance is too terrible. Of the 20,000 acres on Balmacan, the pony trekkers sticking to the ridges have spooked the deer on around 8,000 acres. Martin takes a philosophical view. Stay, stay calm and uh, relax. There is only one small area left for Jimmy to look and it's a big roll of the dice. He knows the hinds are gathering there in advance of the rut, but his only hope of a stag is one of those old ones who know the rut is coming and start hanging around the hinds early like a flasher outside a nunnery. Jimmy finds the hinds and they're looking spooky on the side of the hill. He also finds a stag. To get within 200 yards he's going to have to move the hinds and hope he doesn't move the stag. Martin takes up the story. Okay, we only saw some hinds and we thought it was a, a bad day. But we saw a stag hidden behind a rock. And there, our friend Jimmy said, said we need to go for, for this one. So we took around all the, all the, the hills to have the perfect shot and the perfect position to have a clear shot. Uh, we had a beautiful beast, we had a beautiful atmosphere, ambiance and landscapes. So uh, I think it's, uh, it's in my mind and uh, it's one of my top three of the best thing, things that happened in my life. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why, if you have never tried deer stalking, you should. Martin's animal is a particularly lovely 14-pointer, aged 13 years old. Its teeth ground down, it would probably not have survived another winter. And you can do this too. To go stalking at Balmacan, contact Lackey Smith at Highland Sporting. Browning's website is browning.eu. Whoa, what a beast. And the stag's not bad either.